All right, there's the corner, and then there is free throw line extended. This is a gray area. This hurts the zone. Write this down. Where this guy is, in the gray area, because bumps happen there. It's easy to bump at free throw line extended, but the forward is now guarding the ball. All right, in the zone as it moves. So that gray area, we just call it the witch's tit. The kids always remember it. it's an indelible mark in their brain. It's a language. All right, now he catches it here. You're important here, and this is a look back or crack back action. So you be the coach, I'll be you. You hold this for me. All right, we're gonna work together. As I dribble the ball up, you're pulling out. All right, so you pull out there, and I'm gonna make a pass fake here. I've obviously got that there, but I'm gonna bring the ball over the top, and the ball goes there. Write this down if you can. Any short corner pass flattens the defense out. It's one of those dead corner passes. A pass behind the zone makes the zone shrink. So you can get the top flattened out, and now you can breathe up top. Why does Syracuse trap that? Because they don't want the ball there, because Beheim knows that if the ball keeps going there, it's going to flatten their zone out, and it's going to expose their five, their X5, and he's going to get in foul trouble. So they trap it with a forward and a five, so that doesn't happen. All right, now, move the ball, give me that drag up dribble, look for your short corner guy, or middle, nail. All right, let's play. Here we go. Look back action. It's also a misdirection. You can see that we're lifting, but we're going back against the grain. Play. Here we go. All right, now.